Hey guys, what's up? So we've got some brand new cards that are the last remaining cards of the uh, collection pack 2020. And there are three cards in total we'll be covering. First card is Powered Crawler. This is an Earth Machine level 7 with 2700 attack and 2000 defense. You can use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is normal special summoned, you can destroy it one monster your opponent controls with attack less than this card's. And two, all opponent's monsters must attack if able. Um, so I really don't see the point of this card. I'm sorry to say, but I think it is a massive disappointment. And uh, don't be fooled. Um, the crawler in this is not the same as a crawler as in the archetype. That begins with a K. Um, so it's not part of any specific archetype, it's a random card in and of itself. Um, the stat line on it is not bad. Um, summoning it um, is okay because its effect can activate whether it's normal or special summoned. Um, so destroying a card is decent. Although I don't like the fact that it has to be less than... Um, this cards because you do have a few 3,000 odd monsters out there that tends to be the kind of standard um, attack strength of say your your typical boss monsters so it, this might not be affecting anything on your opponent's field unless they've got a link monster um, say like a, a rank two or so, uh, a link two or something like that and of course the second effect all opponents monsters must attack if able problem with that is if your opponent is running a defensive deck or if they're running anything that can destroy this card at all as well. If your opponent is running any quick play spells, any trap cards that can either cut this card's attack, can change this to defense mode, can destroy it, can power up their own monsters. It doesn't matter that this is a 2700 attack monster when you can just simply have your monsters uh, do things uh, because this doesn't force you into a battle phase remember that you have to remember that's kind of the whole thing to do with like battle mania that kind of forces uh, since you can see this card and you know of its effect you know how to get around it whereas something like battle mania um, forces the attacks but only once it's kind of activated um, this is just too obvious a strategy, so um, unless you can force your opponent to use something like I don't know, all out attack or something to that extent, it's really, really useless. The next card is Intruder Alarm Yellow Alert. This is a normal trap card. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, special summon one monster from your hand. And if you do, your opponent cannot target other monsters for attacks while you control that face-up monster. Also, return that monster to the hand at the end of the battle phase. So the point of this is it's to kind of redirect uh, your attack, your well, your opponent's attack, hopefully. Um, that you might have a key monster on there that you don't have the right cards to kind of protect it. And you just need something to just... just leave it on the field for the rest of the turn. This is where this effect can work, but of course it depends on how uh, kind of vicious your opponent is, if they're kind of going all in, if they've got an established board, then this is really serving no point other than to kind of very lightly stall. And of course, if they have too many beaters on their field anyway, it's really not going to make any difference. Um, uh, the only way I can see it being okay is if, for example, you paired this with something like Wabaku, Hello Life Barrier, Spirit Barrier, something like that, uh, which could protect your monsters uh, and also protect uh, your life points. Um, so it can be used as a stalling uh, technique. Um, I don't suppose maybe if you've got monsters that have effects uh, which trigger from a card being returned, um, from what I can think of, the penguin archetype actually works from returning cards and actually gets kind of effects based off that. 
Um, maybe that could be good for that. But other than that, I, I, I'm kind of drawing a blank on it. And the final card is Armoured White Bear. This is a Water Beast uh, level 4 with 1,800 attack and 1,400 defense. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn each. One, if this card is normal or special summoned and a Synchro Monster is on the field, you can target one field spell in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Two, if this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, or if this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, uh, you can special summon one level 4 or lower beast monster uh, from your deck or graveyard except a copy of itself. So this card is, um, I think this was used by Luna in, um, it was a, it was against, uh, what was his name? You know, you know when the three, um, emperors fused together um it was when leo luna and jack atmos were facing that character um, she summoned this card uh, within that duel um kind of in defense mode to protect herself it's actually also been introduced into duel links but it actually retained its anime effect this is Kind of its official effect and this has been introduced slightly after the anime um, effect so obviously dual links had the older effect on it um being able to uh revive a field spell um since luna uh, has a synchro monster it's the ancient fairy dragon whose whole um effect interacts with field spells um it's it kind of works well with that um, as for the second effect, uh, Luna uses a lot of beast type monsters, some like Unicorn, you have that um, Lion as well. Uh, uh, so um, that's why it kind of works within that, um, within her direct support. Um, it's an okay card, but um, I still don't think it's that great. And then we have, uh, oh, we do have another card, it's called Fire Flint Lady. This is a Fire Warrior level 1 with 100 attack and 100 defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn each. 1. If you control a Warrior Monster, you can special summon this card uh, from your hand. 2. You can send this card you control to the graveyard to special summon 1 level 4 or lower Warrior Monster from your hand. And if you do, your opponent's card effects cannot target it this turn. This card... From what I've heard, is actually the uh, most viable out of the four cards. The reason um, I think they justify this is in the OCG, they've got um, the Ignoble Knights, uh, which are fire warrior based um, versions of the uh, Noble Knights, um, who can benefit off this card. Um, the first effect um, is just special summoning. It means that you don't waste your normal summon uh, to get its second effect. And being able to actually bring out any of those uh, monsters, considering that your opponent uh, cannot target them with card effects for a turn, uh, can be useful. Um, that's kind of why it could be splashed within that type of deck. Uh, we have to wait and see um, when the structure deck eventually gets to us, uh, how it will be received. But from what I've heard, um, it's doing a lot over at the OCG, so sometimes we mirror them. Uh, not that much in some cases because their ban list uh, often differs uh, and we get our product launches um, up to several months later. But, of course, um, this is just how they've used it. So what do you think of the cards? Is there anything you particularly liked? Did you not like certain cards? Uh, let me know what you thought down below. Like the video. Uh, so, uh, leave your comments down below. Like the video and make sure to subscribe.